Okay, so we are looking at a couple more methods. We're going to do get at a particular index, which returns the value at the given index, and we're going to do remove, which removes the node at a given index. Um, if I look at my logic board quickly for get, um, return the value at the given index. So if I am calling node at index, that is going to, the method we just wrote, and it's going to return a pointer that points to the given node that I'm after. So for example, if, um, I want to change colors. If I'm calling at index, say, zero, then node at index zero is going to return that guy. And this get index, we would want it to return the data value there. So if I just look at node at index zero dot data, that's the thing we want to do. If let's say I had index two in here, then I want the nine. Again, node at index two is going to return the pointer that points to that. And then that pointer dot data would be the nine. And so this method is just going to return the method call to node at index dot data. Going back over to Eclipse, um, we're going to put get. I already have it set up here in between after size. Return the value at the given index. So if you think about index of, if you use an illegal index, not index of, excuse me, um, node at, if the index is less than zero or index is greater than or equal to size, that's going to throw the index out of bounds exception for us. Um, so in here, where did it go? Get. All we need to do, it's one line of code, we just need to return node at this index that's pointing to the node and then the data value that's being stored there. And that should be done. Um, when we want to check that, we go back to our client. I'll use that client too. Oh, I'll make my video a little bigger. Yay. Um, let's see, client two here. So I can kind of just check it. Uh, just quick print statement. Uh, we're checking uh, get, check, get. Um, list one dot get zero. And again, what I would need to do to sort of check that this is working, I don't need to keep the this, I don't need to keep these lines of code, but I could check it that it returns an eight in the first one. And then if I have something in the middle, I mean, technically I probably should have several things in the middle and something at the end, but right now we don't. So I'm just going with what we have. And you know, if it's working at the beginning, middle and end, chances are it's working. Okay, so that guy's working. I guess instead of deleting this, I can just comment it out. Um, going back to our code linked integer list. So get is done. Short one. What about remove? So remove's a little different. If I'm trying to remove something, say at index one. So in this case, I'd be removing the node that contains the six. Um, so let's say index equals one here. Well, what would we want our list to look like? The front stays the same, it has the eight. And then eight's pointer, well, that's what node at index one would return. If we change that, we kind of be in trouble because it doesn't change um, the, the node that it doesn't change the right thing. So we have to be kind of careful. We need this to bypass the six and point over there um, so that our, our new list would go from eight directly to nine. Um, and then that's gonna point at null. So a couple of weird things. Um, in this case, the front, the, the actual, remember front is a field in our object. Front did not change, but if 
if I'm at index zero that we're trying to remove, um, then we would actually need to change the value of front. It would now need to point to bypass the eight and point start pointing at the six and then to the nine. So that's actually changing the field in, in our object. So we have to be treat that one separate. We can do that one first if we want. Um, so if it's front, you know, what, what needs to happen if it is, if, if index is zero, we would just set front equal to front dot next. Um, I guess we should be kind of careful that front is not null. Um, and we call index of and do that. It's a little tricky. Um, I mean, node at, we call node at zero. Yeah, so no, node at, if we think about what it's doing, so let's say I'm trying to remove the thing at index one. If I call node at one, back on my original list, I've got my eight, I've got my six, and I've got my nine. Um, if I call node at one, that is going to return this pointer. And if we call it, say, current or temp, then if I change temp, so the idea would be, oh, okay, change temp to equal temp.next. Well, temp is going to be an additional pointer here that just points there. So if I change temp, I don't know why it's doing that flashing thing. Um, if I change temp to temp.next, it does, it changes it, but it doesn't break the link here that front.next that in our list is pointing at. Because temp is just another name for this orange pointer that came from front.next. So if we use node at, we actually need to return the thing before the link that we want to change. So I would need to return this guy. And then I could say, okay, what, what could we do then? Well, then we could say, okay, so now temp points here and I could change temp.next, which is that guy, to bypass that six. And that would change the entire list. Okay, so if we need to go back one, we need to make sure that we're not starting at the front. But that's okay, because the front, if we started, if we're trying to remove the thing at the front, it's different code anyways. Okay, so there's some of the logic on paper. We're going to jump back over and we're going to write our remove. Let's put it below the ads. Oh, we only have one ad still. So I need that other ad. So public void remove um, integer index. And make myself out of the way here. Uh, maybe. There we go. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so if index is zero, that means we're trying to remove the thing at the front. Um, if index is zero, Front equals front dot next. Um, I still don't like this. I feel like we need to do something. What if front is null? Um, if front is null, it's an index out of bounds. So 
let's put an index out of bounds in here thing first, which would say if index is less than zero or let's see, index is greater than or equal to size. Row new index out of bounds exception. Um, you know, I, I can write um, a new, a check index method at some point. I just haven't done it yet. And I, I'm, I'm being careful because I'm not always sure whether it's greater than or equal to size or just greater than size. Um, I think it changes when we go to add at a particular index, particularly at the end. Um, so let's see what remove does. Removes the node at the given index. and throws index out of bounds. Exception. Okay, so if the index is, if the size is zero, and the index is zero, then this will never happen. Um, otherwise, the size, the in, if the size is, if the index is not zero and the size is bigger than zero, it's still gonna throw it in. in. So that, that'll take care of the special case that there's nothing in the list. Um, <clears throat> this takes care of if that index is zero. And now I wanna look at the case over here where we want the pointer, we want to call node at, but we want to call it at index minus one. So we're going to say, um, let's go ahead and go link uh, integer, what's it called? Integer link node temp equals node at, and here I'm going to go index minus one. So, oh, I guess we need an else here. And the reason I need an else is because we only want this to happen if the index is greater than zero. Otherwise, get index out of bounds. Okay. So that's going to point at the thing whose next thing we want to change. So now we want to say temp dot next. Let's go back to our picture. That guy's pointing there. We want temp dot next equal temp dot next dot next. Temp dot next equals temp dot next dot next. And, you know, does it work? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and what I worry about is, is what's happening at the ends. You know, we, we have this index out of bounds being thrown here. We have another one that could be thrown here. Um, so let's test it. Go to our client. And Right after this, let's call it. So it'd be list one dot remove. Let's remove thing at index zero. And then print our list again. That removed the eight. Then we'll try to remove the six. That removed the six. We'll try to remove the nine. That removed the nine. Try to go past the nine. 
Should give me an error. It does. And it should be index out of bounds. It is. So I'll get a negative two. Should give me an error. It does. Go back, remove the front. Perfect. Okay. Um, so that is those two methods get and remove. I'll leave uh, remove up here for a second and linked integer list. There's remove. Um, go back over here. We've done get. We've done remove. We need to do add. So I, I noticed right off the bat that both of these codes uh, have the same um, zero, less than zero, greater than or equal to size. This one has it as well. Uh, less than zero greater than size. So I think I, it's safe to go ahead and write a private check index that does those two things. And then I think maybe in the dual add method, we don't we don't use it. We just create our own. Um, is it still recording? It is. Uh, and I'll do that in the next video.